Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy A to the K to the K Alexander Ken Kwame. And I'm back on making fashion. I'm back on making 3D clothes again. So yeah, let's just get into it. So yeah, today we are gonna make a ski a ski mask. And I'm gonna use style 3D for this one. Yeah. So it's gonna be very easy and very simple. You already know how we do it. Alright. So this is the first time you just getting into this channel don't forget to subscribe if you like what we do here don't forget to subscribe all right so just grab your ellipse tool and you just make a circle just like that and try and just position it just on top of the head of your meta human um, um i exported this one from um ue just the head the head mesh yeah it's pretty simple yeah so with this i just have to um rotate this right here and um sometimes rotating kind of um tricky yeah but you just get a hang of it and i'll, I'll just want to um make the shape i mean the size a little big and just um first i just want to reduce the particle distance and um I want to check if everything is all right if everything is going all right then i think i will just drag the length a little bit and here it's about we are about to make the shape so we'll make a, a point and i'll just shape it just like this and actually this is not the um, main shape because we will try and make some um adjustments in it so just try and make um the symmetric part of the sewing and just flip normals on the other one but if you flip normals it's not gonna work because you just have two same symmetric patterns with sewing i don't know if you really understand but yeah anyway so i mean when you are done you just delete your symmetric pattern with sewing and you just flip normals yeah that will actually work so just connect your sewing lines and that to that one and this to this and this to that and i'll just try and move my shapes closer to the head and i'll just simulate yeah of course we've got this but just try and pull it down and pull this one down and pull this one down and you can see at the chin right there there's just pinpointing but we are definitely gonna fix that so just chill yeah so i'm gonna move this to the top to actually fit to the head the way you actually want it so yeah the pinpoint i was talking about yeah we are definitely gonna fix that so you gotta chill so just try and make it as best as you can fit it to the head as best as you can yeah i see the eyes poking it out there but it's all good we are just gonna fix that so yeah bring this one um to outside a little bit to actually give space for the neck and i'll grab my smooth curve to actually smooth it out that's gonna fix it you just saw that right there so yeah i check everything is all good now i want to make the eyes so i grab internal and i just make a little bit dark so i mean try and make it a little bit bigger I'll double click and move it and just right there to actually see if it's actually the same place as the eyes and I'll just shape it a little bit I mean bring the size a little bit and um I simulate that we get this but we have to get a smooth curve to actually make the shape very appropriate so just like that and I'll get a smooth curve again to make it more accurate so you can see the eyes are now okay the holes are the eyes so i just want to make it a little bit smaller because it's actually big so yeah this is okay now we've got a um we got to make the the one for the mouth so you just um make a point and another point so three points and you grab the middle one and you just pull it backwards and you can see the swimming lines are actually kind of connecting so we have to move the swimming lines 
to the top so i move the sewing line to just right there and i grab this one and i'll move it to here so now the mouth doesn't have any sewing to it so just try and expand it a little bit to actually give space for the mouth and to the top so just right there and bring it a little bit down now when i simulate i think it's all good but i actually want to get um a smooth curve for that part so it, it actually kind of looks appropriate so yeah just like that and also here and also at the bottom so yeah so now it's looking pretty good we are almost done but we've got to add a little bit of details to that but actually if you're actually making this for a real life manufacturing you really have to take your measurement serious but if it's just for um 3d and all of that you can just go straight to the point and just make it all right so yeah we just grab the piping and we make a piping around the eyes and i'm gonna do that for here too so around the eyes to actually add some finish to the whole model so i will do the same for the mouth so yeah just connect all of them to the end point so double click to connect and if you don't like it like this you can just click on the piping and actually change um the flatten to round or you can change the particle distance or you can change the width how you want it how it actually fits for you so you can see i'm changing the particle distance right there and yeah if everything looks great then you send it into unreal and get it onto your meta humans now yeah thank you all for watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to share and comment yeah definitely i'm gonna see you on the next one we're gonna create a lot more fashion clothes with style 3d so if you like this tutorial let me know what's up all right i'm out Peace out.